My name is Adia Depitan. I grew up in the East End of London, in Plasto, and I was the only disabled kid in my school. I um, discovered wheelchair basketball when I was about 12 years old. It just totally opened a, a, a door to a new world for me. I met disabled athletes and I saw other people in wheelchairs for the first time. I didn't actually know what wheelchair basketball was until I saw these kids who were, were part of the Go Kids Go club. And I was absolutely blown away. I saw them flying up and down the court. And you know, from that day on, I was just like, you know what, I'm actually proud of having a disability. Quick, stop him, turn him. Oh, oh. So today I uh, got a chance to play a little bit of basketball with the kids, which was great, it was good fun. Catch it, catch it. I did a few spin moves in my chair and tilted to one side and hopped the chair and all of that. And I could see their eyes lighting up. It was just made me think of when I was 10, 11 years old and seeing that, it's like magic. Being around all these kids at Go Kids Go brings back so many memories. It's only a few decades ago that I was here and I was just like these guys learning how to use a wheelchair. This place changed my life, all of this. It's, it's nice to be here. Good pass! Look at that, you ready? Catch! One, two, three. Yes! So tell me what you liked about the basketball, Samira. Um, I think it was fun throwing and catching and actually using speed. Did you enjoy that game then, Gabriel? Yes. What did you enjoy about it? That we scored. Yes! I'm scared of doing the weave, but I, but I can do them. You're going to learn? I, I could try, but it's hard for me and I get scared. Why is this important? The learning these wheelchair skills. They're just such vital skills for, for young people because I always say if you're not learning to be independent, you're learning to be dependent. So it's really about these young people taking charge, getting in control of their wheelchairs and doing as much as they can for themselves. It's their life journey. My dreams began at a place like this. You know, the first moment I saw a wheelchair and started to play basketball tentatively and to go from that to being selected in the Paralympic squad to represent your country and then go on to win a medal. And it doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, nice start for that. He, uh, he's an excellent shooter from outside. I started off um, at this club with Go Kids Go and I've written a book and it's all about this young kid who's um, disabled and he's in a wheelchair, but he's got superpowers. The charity Go Kids Go, I think I owe them pretty much everything. That's where it began for me. That's where the, the spark that turned into this huge flame began here with these guys. Um, and without them, I probably wouldn't have achieved half the things I have done today.